Spring is just around the corner, so if you're looking for inspiration on decorating little areas in your home for the season, then stay tuned. Hi everyone, Pam here from Creative Homescaping. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. So welcome. In today's video, I am participating in the Spring 2019 Kitchen Vignette Challenge that's being hosted by Denise Jordan of This and That with Denise Jordan. Please be sure to check out her channel as well as the playlist, which will be linked down below when it's available. I really appreciate Denise putting this on every season. So if you want to see the vignette that I put together, then let's get going. So as you can see, I have put my kitchen vignette in the corner of my garden window in my kitchen. Now there were a few elements we had to have for a vignette. One was it had to be on a tray so that you could move it around. Well, I don't really need to move this since it is out of the way in my garden window, but I am using the marble tray that I picked up on clearance after Christmas from Target. Then on my tray, I have a candle. This was a Christmas present to me, and I really like the iridescent colors. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got kind of gold iridescent colors, which I thought went with the gold handles on my tray. And next to the tray, I have these two little ceramic birds. I think I got those from Michael's. They used to be in one of my daughter's rooms that she changed her decor style. So now I am using them for home decor. Behind the little birds is my item that has words on it that we also needed which was to enjoy the little things. You can't really see it too well because of the lighting, but it is kind of an aqua color with some antiquing glaze over the top. And then it has these wrought iron dragonflies and scroll work as part of the design. And it actually has a hanger on it. You can see the top of it there, which have kind of nestled into the bouquet. But I, and I haven't taken that off in case I want to use it somewhere else at some point. That's the bottom part of my area, and I do have the little birds. We were supposed to include birds or bunnies in our vignette. And then the last thing we were supposed to have was some florals. And in another video, I showed you how I put this floral bouquet together with these tulips and ferns from Walmart and the Queen Anne's lace from Dollar Tree. And that's all in a container that I received as part of a fresh flower bouquet one time as a gift. If you haven't seen the bouquet video, I will link that for you down below. But I'm really pleased with how this looks. It looks nice and fresh for spring. And it gives me something really pretty to look at while I'm doing my dishes. Thanks for watching and a big thank you to Denise for hosting this. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite part of my vignette, if indeed you liked it. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you did like the content that I provided. And again, if you are new to my channel, I do post several videos a week on how to creatively manage and decorate your home. So I hope you'll subscribe by clicking the subscribe button in the description box down below or the icon in the corner of this video. I look forward to seeing all of you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful time decorating your home for spring. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.